look, if you do it God's way, you're going to find people looking at you and they're going to want to have what you have. When they can see you come smiling, you know, looking like that, you know, you're treating everybody right. Right? You're, 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 being, you're being fair and you're treating people right. You're smiling. You're not looking all down and, and sad. Right? And it looked like that, you know, you carry yourself well. They're going to want to know what is it that you got? What is it? Oh, man. I think it's, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. They're going to want to know what is it that you got? They're gonna want, that's what they're going to want to know. What do you got, man? How can you go through that? How can you deal? All right, all right. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and get to the sermon. The sermon is, there is nothing too hard for God. There is nothing too hard for God. And see, that's what we have to understand. There, there's nothing too hard for God, right? There's nothing. People try to put limitations on God, but there's nothing too hard for God. People feel that they can't do what God wants them to do. They feel they can't do it, such as telling the truth at all times. Oh, man, you can't always tell the truth. Somebody might say, man, my goodness, how do you like my dress? And you think it looks hideous. What do you say? That's a hideous dress you got on. <laughs> what do you do? So what are you going to do, Cassie? Somebody says, how do you like my dress? And you know it's hideous. You're sitting there thinking, you need to go home and burn that thing. Right? But you got to tell the truth at all times. What do you do? Like, oh, it's such a beautiful day out, isn't it? <laughs> oh yes, it's beautiful. I gotta go now. <laughs> right? But you gotta tell the truth at all times. You gotta tell the truth. And people will know who they who they can go to because they'll know that, hey, listen, if I want the truth, I'm gonna go to them. Right? I'm gonna go to them if I want the truth. Now if they wanna just have somebody say, Oh, you look wonderful, they know them people to go to. But if you want to know the truth, you know certain people to go to. But see, the Bible says, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Right? So we have to tell the truth at all times. Right? Said so all liars what? So have their part in the lake. And that's the lake of fire. You don't want to you don't want to go to that lake. You're not putting any canoes on that lake. You understand? You don't want that lake. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, you know, so they don't feel that they can tell the truth at all times. They feel that there's certain times where a lie is, is, is a good thing to tell. And they put that what they with that word they put in front of that lie. White lie. White lie? It's still a what? A lie. Right? So what is it? It's a lie. And the Bible says all liars shall have their part in the lake, in the lake of fire. All right. So some people feel that they can't they can't um, conduct themselves with the proper sexual conduct that God lets us know, right? God says marriage is honorable and the bed is undefiled. Whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. God doesn't want sexual relations, want people in sexual relations if they're not married to each other, that is. He doesn't want them in sexual relations if they're not married to each other, right? So no, no, so some people, they, they have, you know, they're not conducting themselves in that order. And guess what? So they don't feel that they can. Right? They don't feel that they can do that. I, I can't do that. I just can't do that. Some people don't feel that they can control their temper. No, 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 no. He killed my dog. I got to kill his cat. Right? No, I got I to get him. I got to make him pay. Some people feel that they can't treat people fairly. You got you gotta to uh, be, uh, be a con. You got to be... Taking someone for you got to try to be beating somebody out of their money or or what have you. No, we're supposed to treat people fairly. And see, they feel that they can't live this kind of life. I can't live that life. But I want to live for God. I want to do it. I think it's a good thing to do. I see people, man, and they're like their lives are happy, but I, I just don't think I can't do it. That, that's what people feel. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this. It is true. That they can't do it. They can't do it. They cannot stop the lying. The stealing. The sexual immorality. Right? The uh, backbiting. The temporary. The temporary. The temporary. That they have. They cannot do it. They can't. 
Right? You can't you can't live out you, you cannot be perfect. Can't do it. Right? If you could be perfect, right, on our own, if we could all be perfect on our own, Jesus would not have had to come into the world, come into this, come into this world, preaching, teaching, and informing us about the Holy Ghost. Right? Informing us about the Holy Ghost will come in his name that will lead and guide us in all ways of truth. He would not have done that if we could do it. Right? See, I understand, and that's why I, I you know, when I see people and they're out there doing these things, you know, you don't pass judgment on them. You just realize that they just can't do it. You're just a victim to Satan. You're a slave, you're, you're the slave of Satan right now. That's all they are. You're a victim to Satan. And you're a slave to him right now. Right? But they gotta learn how to. You know, we heard chain breaker, break every chain. They got to know how to break chains. They got to know who breaks the chains. Amen. They got to know that it's somebody that they can go to. They, they can't stop lying. They can't stop stealing. They can't stop the sexual immorality. They can't stop all that. But they got to go to the one that can. Because they can't do it. They can't. 